In this video, we'll talk about another type of inheritance that is pleiotra. And these genes are known as pleiotropic genes. Up till now, we talked about one gene controlling one phenotype or character. Here, one gene is controlling more than one character. So important thing is, one gene is responsible for more than one character. This is pleiotropy. And the example that we take here is of sickle cell anemia. So the example is sickle cell anemia. Let us first talk about a situation which is a normal situation. In our hemoglobin, that is human hemoglobin, there are two alpha polypeptide chains and two beta polypeptide chains. So our hemoglobin, the globin part, that is the protein part, has four polypeptide chains out of which two are alpha polypeptide and two are beta polypeptide chain. In sickle cell anemia, in one of the beta chain, there is point mutation. So this is caused due to a point mutation. And sickle cell anemia is an autosomal recessive disorder. It is autosomal recessive disorder. And it is caused due to point mutation. Let us first understand this point mutation. If we talk about our normal hemoglobin, chain, only beta chain is what we are talking about. There are amino acids. This polypeptide is made up of amino acid 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Let me draw a little smaller. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on. Let us number them. This is amino acid 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on. In the normal hemoglobin, the amino acids which are present at these positions, let us write down their names first so that we remember and we understand where the change is taking place. This is valine, then histidine, leucine, threonine, proline, glutamine or glutamic acid and one more glutamic acid. Our focus is on position number 6. That means we are talking about a point that is this point. In sickle cell anemia, when we say there is a point mutation taking place at position 6, Glutamic acid gets replaced by another amino acid. So, sickle cell hemoglobin if we talk of, then everything remains the same. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on. Number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. All of them remain same. That means this would be the line. Histidine, leucine, threonine, proline and this one will be glutamic acid. Only six position amino acid gets replaced by valine. That means the mutation which is happening is only at one point and that is why we are calling it point mutation. And this point mutation results in sickle cell anemia. The thing or the change is at, the important thing, the change is at sixth position of beta chain. And second important thing that we have to remember is glutamic acid gets replaced by 
the line. Only this change is responsible for causing sickle cell anemia. And now, as we said, we are taking this example for understanding pleiotropy. That means one gene responsible for controlling more than one character. So how does this gene or this change control many characters or more than one character? Now, this mutation, that means whenever this change takes place, there are two changes which are seen. First, the structure of hemoglobin is altered. Structure of hemoglobin changes. And because of which it is not able to carry the same number of oxygen molecules as the normal hemoglobin carries. Second, change is the change in the shape of RBC. Normal RBCs are flat, disc-like if we see it from the top and if we have a side view, they are biconcave as they are enucleate. But because of this disorder, the shape of RBC becomes sickle-like and so the name of this disease that is sickle cell anemia. The example that we took was of sickle cell anemia. Now, one gene is responsible for controlling two things. Structure of hemoglobin and shape of RBC. Here, when that gene undergoes a change or mutation, two things get affected. The structure of hemoglobin changes. In the beta chain, at position number 6, glutamic acid has been replaced by valine. So that hemoglobin doesn't carry the same number of oxygen molecules. And second, there is a change in the shape of RBC, which is normally circular disc-like or biconcave. It changes into sickles, uh, sickle shape. Due to this also, the oxygen content or oxygen carrying capacity decreases. How does that decrease? In this particular shape, the amount of hemoglobin present in the RBC is much less as compared to normal. So one, the hemoglobin itself is not properly formed. So it is not taking sufficient oxygen. And two, because of the shape change of RBC, the hemoglobin content per RBC is also less. In both the situations, the amount of oxygen reaching the tissues is much less as compared to normal. And in such situations, the person's physical efficiency decreases because for physical activities, muscular activities, oxygen requirement is high. Now, we represent this uh, condition by a genotype that is written as HBS is the gene. This is how the gene is written, the recessive gene which is responsible for this disease. And normal will be written as HBA. Here also there are three situations. A normal individual will be HBA, HBA. This means the person has both the alleles as normal. And it will be responsible for formation of normal hemoglobin and normal RBC shape. This is one situation. Second situation is HBA, HBS. This is what we call sickle cell condition. First, this allele is responsible for formation of normal hemoglobin and normal RBC, whereas this will produce this faulty hemoglobin with the change at the sixth position and sickle cell RBC. That means 50% hemoglobin normal, 50% defective, 50% RBC is normal, 50% RBC is sickle cell. This individual will survive with some problems like whenever there are physical activities or muscular activities, oxygen supply becomes less. So they get tired, their fatigue level is very quickly attained. Third situation is HBS, HBS. Here, both the genes are the mutated genes. That means both of these alleles will produce defective hemoglobin and sickle cell RBCs. All RBCs are going to be sickle cells. 
normally these individuals they do not survive now whenever we say that there is some kind of a genetic defect of this type mother nature normally compensates whenever there is one problem in a particular individual or a group of individual mother nature gives them a little benefit or advantage for some other thing these individuals they are resistant to malaria the reason is malaria parasite cannot penetrate and survive in this sickle cell rbc so because of this defect they have to face problems like less oxygen reaching their tissues but mother nature has compensated this defect by giving them an advantage over other individual this individual is normal both the genes are normal but they are prone to malaria but this individual the sickle cell rbcs will not get affected by the malaria parasite so people who have sickle cell anemia they are resistant to malaria here we were talking about one gene controlling more than one character the two characters which are controlled by this gene hemoglobin structure shape or rather structure the molecular structure and the shape of rbc this is pleiotropy